This is TBH, to be honest, with Dale Honigan. Greetings, everybody. Welcome to another episode of TBH, to be honest. We're here with another very special guest, the great Ode and Mighty. Mighty, wild one. I'm here, I'm here, mate. Just a go on with it, you know. Uh, how are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I'm blessed. I'm grateful that this podcast mm-hmm. is, is being, you know, broadcasted and persons are giving me positive feedback. So I'm definitely grateful about that. Um, I shared with you, I shared with you a, a little while ago that a pastor actually reached out to me. Mm-hmm. He was saying that he, he appreciated the broadcast. He was saying that as a pastor, he has to be, you know, politically correct. And he said, he said that I was giving a voice to, to him and other pastors. And that was that was like the rarest thing for me because I knew that other young people could relate and um, you know, find some sort of encouragement for, for, for pastors to say uh, that I was giving pastors a voice. That was that was that's rare. And I, I would definitely say that you have uh, been been doing that. I won't pinpoint specifically, you uh-huh. know, the areas in which you may have highlighted stuff that we can't say or we we, we can't just, you know, blurt out as knowledge is power, uh-huh. but power is also responsibility. Right. So we 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 have to be 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 careful. So you have been accomplishing a lot of that, giving a platform and a voice to certain issues that are relatable in many spheres. Well, I'm definitely, definitely grateful for that. And that's the whole intention behind this podcast. But we're going to get into you and your journey and your experiences. So mm-hmm. first question is, who is Ode and Mighty? All right. Well, uh, firstly, I would say that I am a thinker. So Ode and Mighty is somewhat of a thinker. Uh-huh. And that gauges how I operate. Uh, how I approach things, how I, what I get involved in as well. Uh, things have to make sense for me to do them. I was that guy, you know, that one guy in, 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 in class that looks at things differently or technically, you know, I was the guy that said, yeah, man, into technical because, he, you know, I looked at, at the details while others were thinking inside of the box. I just thought, why not get rid of the box altogether? I mean, why not just think and whatever comes, comes we, we, we work with it. As I am a strong believer that while truth is absolute or knowledge of truth is progressive, so I'm a deep thinker. And sometimes it's, it's a strength and a weakness, a blessing and a curse. Uh, sometimes I, because I, t- I think so deeply, I overthink things. Uh, I am a pastor by profession, a minister of religion, and I, in, in that, it requires me to do a lot of thinking, and a part of that ministry, music, and that's, that's, that's how um, we know each other, you mm-hmm. know, through, through music, I live, breathe, you know, music, it's, it's, it's a major part of my life and mainly because music forces you to think. Uh, some persons, they just listen to music, but they don't experience it. Like they, they, don't, they don't try to get the message that it's, it's truly trying to communicate to them. For them, it's just a beat, you know, and it's either it's lively or it's, you know, somber and slow or boring, as some would say. So just to sum it up, I would say I am a deep thinker, a lover of music. And as a result of that, uh, as a result of Shahai, I would say, and your influence, I started singing. Uh, that's, that's another story for, for, for another time. I started singing solos and stuff. And I know that's a big part of my ministry. I uh, play, play instruments, uh, mainly uh, piano. And, and so on, I, I dabble in, in quite a few of them. Uh, but I, I, I just, I don't know. I just, I just love music, man. I can't, I can't find words to say that and to mention words. I also write, and a lot of it is through your influence as well, seeing you become 
you know, a poet and express yourself, I I said, you know, this sounds good. I wonder if I could if I could do anything like that and started writing and the feedback has has been exceptional. I mean, it has been amazing, like shocking. I was like, I'm just trying something and, and people like, yo, this is amazing stuff. And this is not trying to toot my own horn or right. pre pretending to, to be humble. Uh, but truly, it is humbling uh, to, to see persons react. Yes, if you were doing anything musical, uh -huh. not playing, not singing, nothing, right? But you know, a good youth, and <laughs> I'm like, oh gosh, I'm going to audition. And <laughs> like awkward now. <laughs> Every time when we go play it, I go be like, Jenna, I just turn him down. But yeah, this time I'm like, wait, he can't sing one. I'm like, it was mm. it was just shocking to me. I didn't for whatever reason I just didn't expect it. Because I knew you for a good probably a full semester, if I'm not mistaken. You auditioned your second semester? Yes, uh, second semester. No, I auditioned my second year, first semester. Uh, all right, even so, it's your second year. So I knew you for a yep. whole year. I knew nothing musical. So that's why it's just like this random TT player want audition for the choir. <laughs> so yeah, that was, that was it, it wasn't expected. And then you sang, and it's like, OK, all right, so you can sing. And what I will say is probably you off the top of my head, more than anybody else, I've seen two, two persons. But that person, I knew them from before college. It's the most growth I've seen. Like from you started and you were, mm. you, were you know, solid till you became like, for me, my favorite bass on the choir. And to start the solo and all these things, like the growth that I saw was mm. definitely, definitely like the greatest that I've experienced. So tell me briefly, like, what was the Shahai experience like for you? Ah, well, I had to take a deep breath so that because that one is a, you know, a big one. I, I still feel like Shahai is a part of my, a part of me, a part of my family. Uh, when I auditioned, to be honest, from my perspective, I was like, all right, I don't know if I'm, if I'm good enough to get into this choir because. I remember hearing Shahai in first year. I'm like, yo, this choir sound good. But the truth is, I had stopped singing. I, like I grew up singing in choirs, uh, singing in, excuse me, children's choir. Then uh, word, word got to my primary school music teacher and she, she brought me out of class and I was uh, asked to, to sing on the, 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 the school choir. And, at one, I think the year when I was in grade, that was in grade five, and I was the only boy out of a choir of about 23. I was the only boy. That that year we, we went to JCDC finals, national finals, mm -hmm. and I was the only boy. Wow. Um, and believe me, I was I was short. I was I probably was the shortest one on the choir. And some of these girls were in grade five, and the others were in grade six, and I was literally the short. So this little boy and a choir full of girls <laughs> and it, it it was an interesting experience uh but i started sing i you know singing then but all i'm thinking about is is you know i i, I have a choir voice i'm just singing in choirs then in in high school i joined music club but i'm just thinking about choirs at church and i when i got to that age i started in the youth choir and stuff and i'm just thinking um you know i'll just stay in the choir and, and you know continue that and i got i got in that 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 mode of just singing in a choir and i would get like a one line or a one verse to sing with somebody else or to do a do uh do it or a tree or something like that uh but i i've never like some i never saw myself as as a as a soloist uh, a part of the reason in about grade eight <laughs> i we had a free session and I was with, there, there were a few persons singing and stuff. I was like, all right, I feel like I, I can do this. And I, there's this, I don't know what is this thing with men that we feel like we need to pitch the song um, high, like the song good. I don't know if it's the influence of Chris Brown and Usher and them guys and Michael Jackson. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't know if that's the case. Uh -huh. And the first thing that came out of my mouth was I can only describe it as either a squeak or, or a croak. 
uh, you know, imagine a frog. Yes, uh -huh. that's what came out. And I was like, all right, I'm never doing this again. I'm done with it. I'm not trying this. So I just stuck to the back of the choir and I started playing, fooling around keyboard in about grade 10. I'm going to stop singing. Start playing, so I'm going to stop singing. Uh, so when I came to NCU, I was like, all right, I'll try to try to play and stuff um, because I know big guys were there like Brendan, Oren, and, and them guys, Wilton, uh, all them big guys. You know, so I'm like, all right, I'm just here to learn as much as I can, soak up as much as I can. Then we hear Shahai, I'm like, yo, this quite sound good. And in second year, I'm like, all right, here's one, here's one. Let me try this out. I don't know how well it's going to go. I don't know if it's going to go well at all. <laughs> so I'm like, all right, what's the worst that can happen? And it's not like a public audition. We have to go on an audition um, in front of a whole lot of people. It's just like a, a, a private stuff. So I say, all right, let me try this. And I mean, I, I recall getting, I think, one note wrong or two. Mm -hmm. um, out, out of the, the, all the phrases that you, you played to, to be repeated. And like, yo, that just began a journey for me that it was, it was amazing. I think the first Sabbath uh, it was week of prayer. Yeah, the first Sabbath was week of prayer. And I'm like, why this guy show, show you out in a, in, in a, in a you know, we just, we just joined the choir, no, 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 no songs, no, don't know anything. And, 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 and this director of, of, of me punk choir sing. I mean, I thought we would get some time to be, you know, oriented and stuff. And uh, it was it was fun, you know, starting from ear balling and, and, and you know, singing watermelon to, to actually singing, singing uh -huh. notes uh -huh. and, and stuff. It was it was an interesting experience. Uh, then the choir gave me a little bit of consistency, the fact that um, we had to be it, like that, that level of discipline. I respect it. I, I don't think I've said this to you before, but I respected your level of. Uh, you respected our time. That's one thing. Uh, you were never late. And if you were going to be late, you'd communicate that, hey, something happened, which was never <laughs> or rarely ever. <laughs> you, you would actually, um, something would come up and you, and you have to be late. Uh, but the, the truth is, I respected the fact that, hey, listen, you need to be on time. You need to be on time. And we need, when we're there, when we're there, it was a whole experience. And it was a spiritual journey as well, because we had full on devotions and stuff, you know, of the BB block and, uh, and stuff. We had, it was a, it was a quite the experience for me. And in those times, actually, I was, I was going through one of my lowest states, um, like emotionally, you know, psychologically, I was, I was at my lowest. At that, at that time and like it was it was really that I, and i think that's a part of why shahaya meant so much i mean uh i you probably remember this uh there was this one time i was i had almost like a nervous breakdown and i i i, I just i think it was like a month or so into joining the choir and i remember you called i'm like Okay, cool. Um, you know, you, you're like, what's going on, man? Is everything okay? And, and we, we, we talked about it and stuff. And I left that conversation thinking, yo, this choir director actually care about people. I mean, to actually call one of your members, uh, you know, that yeah, whether I wasn't even thinking that somebody called you. Um, you know, somebody told you to call me. Um, I was just thinking that, yo, God allowed you to, to call me. Uh, to you know, check in and see what's going on, and that gave me a bit of encouragement, and and I even more respect. You understand? And it was when the meltdown happened. Um, that was about 2015, 2016. Uh, it was when the meltdown happened in 2018 when he said, you know, he was was one of my housemates that said, yo, um, check on my tea and see what's going on. And he, even even so, I still appreciate the fact that you you know you reached out and said, yo. Um, what's going on, and that made me respect uh, and appreciate the, the whole experience of being on the choir. It gave it gave me um, a purpose because what it was something I was good at. Uh, I remember not being able to sing certain notes when guys like David and uh, you know Glenric were singing them 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 loud. They were projecting 
uh, and they were singing them them low notes. And I, was, I remember running out of breath singing some of those notes. And, and then I found myself over and over uh, going to practice every week. And then after a while, I realized I could sing them things to the point where when David and them left, guys, guys were saying, like, yo, yo, mighty, how you do that? Re, re, re. And I was, I myself was shocked, to be honest, in that whole ex experience. I myself uh, was shocked by the, the immense growth. And I, I, I can only credit it to, to one, to God, because he, he would have given me that, that ability and so on. And I would also credit it to consistency and, and practice. I mean, you, when we came to practice, it wasn't just about singing, you know, but about, you know, warming up, getting technique right. And it, it improved, that singing improved my voice and also improved my speaking. Mm -hmm. So it, it, it impacted a lot uh, of, of my life. It, it caused me to think. You know, it, it, it really, it, it really did a lot, did a lot for me. And then Shahai, I mean, <laughs> I wonder if I should say this on the internet, but one bag of mad people, I mean, uh, similar minds. Uh, when, we, <laughs> when we go out and when we're on the bus, the conversations that we, we, we would have as a car and, and so on, they, they were deep conversations. A lot of them were theologically based. Some of them were issues uh, that we, we as young people would face, but a lot of them were theologically based and we just had, had good times. And I remember the potluck that we had that same first, uh, first year that I was there. And I, I wouldn't trade that for the world. I mean, I wouldn't right now, as when, when, when Gio asked, when Gio said he was going to do the recording for uh, December, and he's like, yo, mighty, we're doing this, Ray, Ray, Ray. And I'm like, yo, sure. I I I I will jump through any hoop for Shahai, you know, because I mean, that's that's my family. You know, it's a part, that's a, that's a part of my family, a part of my university experience. And there are a lot of things that were tied to it. Uh for me, yeah. Yeah, man. I remember the the, the breakdown you said you had. Um, your roommate messaged me and was saying, yo. You know, I don't know why he chose me, but he just said, yo, it's not looking really good for my team. And so I didn't want to, I didn't want to like message you and just like ask, are you okay or whatever. So I call, I remember I asked you, like, how are you finding the choir so far? Like what I wanted to do. Yes, I remember that question now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wanted mm. you to feel valued. That, that was my intention of the whole conversation. And it so worked, it worked, it. man. I open it up by asking you, like, how are you finding the choir so far? And then I kind of worked into like how we are finding you, and that you know you're you're a valuable part of this ministry. And so yeah, I'm just I'm glad I'm I don't know why he chose me to speak to you, but I'm glad he did. I'm glad that God directed me to you know steer the conversation that way, you know. So yeah, man. So mighty. You said you're a theology, you, you're a pastor, so you are a theology major. Now, on NC campus, theology majors, a lot of times they get, they get a bad rap. Um, mm. Sometimes maybe deservedly so, sometimes. Sometimes, sometimes they're just kind of grouped into one, one bunch and once they're a theology major, you know, they're kind of, people kind of, you know, um, but then there are always some theology majors that the narrative is, yeah, man, that one's different. That one, they're, that one they're different. That one, they're cool, man. You know? <laughs> him said the theology, but him cool. You know? <laughs> and I always found that persons always found you to be, you know, different. Um, I'm on the outside looking in. I don't have, I, don't have, I get along with everybody for the most part. But talk to me about, like, some of the challenges theology majors may have on campus, some of the expectations you may have with them, is it warranted, is it unreal?